Hey Virgo, thank you so much for tuning in. So I'm getting ready to read you your energy for today. I already had three cards laid out. Um, this video is not time sensitive. So whenever you actually tune in, it could stand for you. But how I'm, however, I do encourage you to use the spirit of discernment as you are viewing it, okay? Um, every message may not be for you because it is collective and this is for entertainment purposes only. So make sure you flip your roles, take what you need and leave what you don't need. Um, also, again, this could be past, present, or future energies for any one of you. Um, however, you know, stay tuned in because it seems like the energy today may be a little weird, okay? Um, I do have the community card coming out, the hostility card coming out, and the indecision card coming out in the reverse. And basically, let me turn down my music real quick. Thank you, my true guys, showing up, helping me to read for Virgo, protect us as we go through these portals. And close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will. All right. So basically with these cards, right? It's somebody in your community, your network, your, um, it could be at work. It could be a social setting. Um, whatever it is with this, uh, community card, this is like the three of cups. This is like third party type energy. However it is, right? Somebody's defenses are up. All right. Or they could be, um, uh, aggressive or hostile in some kind of way over a decision that is being made okay and i'm gonna read this hostility card to you all right so y'all already know how i be right if you trigger you gonna face your mirror not my comment section okay um allow your higher self to guide you but the hostility card basically is saying it reveals a situation where hostility towards you are about to be or have already been engaged. The aggressive energy may be verbal or emotional with someone in your environment being excessively critical, demanding, or hurtful. In a work or social situation, there may be backstabbing or out and, and, out, and out slander going on. This is different from the deceit card because the hostile, hostile energies are more apparent, more overt. In fact, you may have been living with them for some time, but whether this is new or old energy, now it's time to regain control. Allow dishonoring treatment from others is an open invitation to the universe to send you more. It may feel risky, but you need to have the courage to stand up for yourself now and always, right? So whatever decision was made, um, yeah, somebody's not too happy about it. So let's talk about this. Tell me about this. Where is this hostility coming from? Like, this could be you, Virgo, or somebody connected to you. Y'all already know how this goes. It's a Queen of Pentacles reverse. All right, so it's someone who could be very unconfident. And they can be very selfish, um, self-absorbed type energy. Um, feminine energy as well. Five of Cups comes out. Okay, so they may have lost something. Heavy hearted over something or mourning over something. This definitely feels like something from either the past or whatever it is. It's like painful. It's very, they got, yeah, they definitely are, um, they're not happy about this at all. This is, the, this is some type of loss or something here, or despair. It could even be regret. That's the feeling I'm getting. Okay, so show me more about this. Why are they feeling this way? Go deeper for me, please. Because of the Knight of Cups reverse. And Six of Pentacles reverse. So a masculine energy, okay? Um, this could be somebody younger as well. Could be very um, moody or they could be triggered in some kind of way. They're either unthankful about something or um, they stop giving to something, okay? What did they stop giving to What's unequal here? It 
It could even be someone who's not stable financially. They stop giving to something. What is this? The death card comes out. And what I'm seeing is like somebody's refusing to accept the ending. And really stuck in the past. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles reverse is, it's like they're so stuck in the past. They're resisting the change. And they're not happy because this masculine energy stopped giving to them. So what's been coming out heavily over the last couple of days for you, Virgo, as you can see, like the karmic energy just jumps right out there. Like, I don't even got to ask questions about it. They just be like, hey, I got something to say, right? Five, five, five. It's been a lot of sudden changes. It's been a lot going on. Um, a lot of disruption is how I'm seeing it. Like, and whatever could have ended, it ended probably pretty badly is how I'm hearing it somebody could feel betrayed and this is why this person is on a defense and why they are uh, hostile and they may even be that way towards you okay but what i'm seeing is like they're acting this way because of whatever happened to them in the past right it's like they're still holding on to this disappointment and it's almost as if they're projecting it onto you, Virgo. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse position. They may have had a lot of issues, a lot of family issues, a lot of conflict, financial issues, whatever it is. They could be going through a separation or, or something here. And it's just like... Your... So what does this have to do with Virgo, though? Because what I'm hearing is like you're at this point in your in your story where you're at an advantage and things are working out for you, right? You're getting a fresh start. You're getting an opportunity and they're getting disappointment. They're not getting this opportunity, right? It's like they have this false sense of security or something here and they're not getting what they thought they were going to get. They could be going through, again, financial issues, bad health, whatever it is, or they're just unfulfilled. I got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So it's like, literally, when I've been talking to you guys over the last uh, few weeks, and I've been saying the wheel is turning for you, right? It's going in your favor. This is what's really happening. So what was meant for you originally, you're getting. And whoever was trying to keep that from you, they're now getting a shit in a, of the stick, basically. They're getting what they put out. What was the decision that was made? So this person could be having a bad ass day. Yep, the Queen of Cups in reverse, right? So they could be emotionally exhausted. They could be depressed. Again, they could be moody, um, hard hearted, whatever, right? Very withdrawn. Okay, and you know when you like that, you kind of can become, a, you can get real aggressive or real hostile, right? Um, defensive and everything. So this person may be feeling that way because of the decision, okay? And what I'm seeing here as well, tell me about this indecision. Yeah, six of swords in the reverse. Like this person is just not moving forward. They're having a difficult time. A lot of emotional baggage is what I'm seeing around this. So, around this decision, is this a decision that Virgo made? No. It's one that you may be worried or anxious about. Is this a decision that someone that Virgo is connected to made? No. Is this a decision that this third party may maybe? So what's the decision? Somebody was they definitely was stuck at a crossroads. 
So what I'm saying is, it's like whoever this person is in this network of yours, okay? Um, or the, this connection or however this is going, they may have did something or had some type of ulterior motive. So they decided, right, because everything isn't working out the way they want it to, they decided to use deception to try to reconcile or bring some type of harmony here to a situation, okay? So they didn't go about doing that right, right? Seven of Swords energy, all right? So tell me about this deception. They decided to use betrayal. Five of, um, four of Swords comes out. Um, again, it's like, they thought that that was going to bring some type of peace or or something here where they can be able to recoup or something and, it, and everything will balance out. Bring some type of stability here or, or achievement, but it's, it's not. It's just only leaving them stuck and, again, emotionally exhausted and defensive, seven of wands. So whatever the choices that this um, Queen of Cups reverse has made, again, they did it too hasty without any type of consideration they were thoughtless and uh, it's coming back to bite them so whoever this is that's in your community they could be a water sign yep two of swords comes out reverse again some type of decision was made okay and um some clarity was gained from this. Tell me about this clarity. Yep, Ace of Cups comes out. And what I see is, is that somebody in your story was stuck at a crossroads. And pretty much like at a stalemate, not really making no decision whatsoever. Okay, but now that this decision is made, and I feel like somebody is choosing um, a new opportunity or a new relationship or whatever this is, right? And is bringing someone to the point again where they are totally triggered in the community because again they got cut out that's just how i'm saying it they got cut out okay and so yeah and you could be getting this new beginning abundance you know joy love health all of that stuff okay and remember flip the roles right because i don't know who's who's who um tuning in but yeah, Queen of Cups reverse comes out again. This is very, very um, emotionally exhausting for this person. They are definitely depressed. They are definitely feeling some kind of way about this, okay? Wow. Anything else you want to tell me? Yep, five of cups and death card reverse. It's just like same energy coming through, right? They're they're they they really are in regret and they really are grieving. Okay. What did this Queen of Cups reverse lose? I'm not too happy about this. Page of Cups comes out. So, this has a lot to do with emotions. It's like either they lost a desire or um, a relationship. They also lost themselves in the process. Not listening to their intuition. Not staying focused. They were expecting some type of offer or something to come in small offer it feels like ooh, maybe an apology or something or a reconciliation but what i'm seeing here nine of cups like they were expecting their wish to be fulfilled whatever that may have been okay and it didn't it was a very deceptive situation as i'm seeing with the seven of swords coming out in the nine of cups nine of pentacles very deceptive situation and they definitely are feeling insecure. It's a lot coming through with that nine of cups. Their wishes didn't come true. 
and yours may be coming true right now and they're disappointed about that very it's greed and it's vanity is how i'm hearing it y'all um sorry yep imprisonment somebody is definitely in some type of um they're stuck. I'm hearing stuck in their head. Tell me about the hostility. Message. Message comes out for hostility. So some type of message um, or communication may come through and again like this person could be very hostile or aggressive towards you or somebody connected to you okay um and this is aggressive energy it could be um hostility towards you or about to be or already have been engaged in verbal or emotional Okay, with someone in the environment being excessively critical, demanding, or hurtful. Slander, you know, it could come in any form. The chariot card comes out. So I feel like, you know, somebody's trying to... Um, create an obstacle trying to block and it's not working so at this point they're uncertain yeah they've been trying to clean the wands upright so whoever's operating in that energy which is good vibrational energy queen of wands can be very energetic um um how can i put it very confident Okay, could be an alarm light doing some stuff through communication, social media, very strong will, um, nature lover, optimistic. Like, this is just somebody who's just like, boom, no matter what, it's like the obstacles come through, this uncertainty comes through, and boom, Queen of Wands still be like, you know what, it's all good, everything working out for my highs, good, or know how to get themselves in that energy of being grounded. Okay, very virtuous person. And um, so the message may come to try to get, you know, if this is you, Virgo, to give up, okay? Yep, Six of Pentacles in the reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse to try to make you give up, want to give up. To create some type of unfair dynamic for you or some type of um, situation where, you know, you're not reaching that goal, that milestone that you're trying to reach, okay? And I'm definitely feeling like you're trying to um, obtain, like, right now, this is a point where you like, look, I'm building my legacy, okay? I'm trying to literally have a stable family, long-term wealth, things like that, right? And, um, wow. Wow. So this is a lot of energy that's going to be projected, but it's just going in the wrong direction, it feels like. Right. Queen of Pentacles and Knight of Cups reverse. Okay. All of this energy is happening because of the simple fact that this person is triggered and just pretty much, you know, selfish overall. Probably out of touch with reality and some more crap. Okay very unrealistic <laughs> expectations is how I'm seeing it um, because they feel helpless they're experiencing a lot of difficulties they feel left out in the cold with the five of pentacles if it's with dealing with money or if it's dealing with health it's because of those issues you know whatever it is it's just like this person just feels like again they're getting they're not getting the relief, okay? They're not getting what they asked for. Yep. 
four of wands comes out, right? And again, that's that prosperity, the stability, the peace settling down. It feels like this is what they want and want it, and they're get, now their their situation is unstable. It's not what they were trying to achieve, but they were doing it out of deception, is what I'm hearing. Tell me the indecision card in reverse. Too many cards, my spirit. Ooh. Yep, change and great fortune. Somebody decided that they were going to make a change and move forward. Okay. And this is their lucky streak now. Great fortune. It's like now everything is happening for them. The abundance is flowing on them and and um being blessed. I just did a Gemini reading last night, y'all. If you are connected to Gemini, look, and it's 111 on my timer. If you're connected to Gemini or have it somewhere in your chart, check that out, right? And um what was it? The title was Gemini, you learned the lesson, and now you're about to be blessed, right? Be expecting some type of miracle. It's something around that, okay? And that's what that great fortune card came out in the change, 2111, okay? Also came out. Who This person, okay, you or, or whoever's connected to you decided to make a change. They literally learned the lesson it's like very significant lesson and whoever this person or you left and walked away from or cut out is definitely not happy so tell me more about the end Yep. Partnership and alliance. Somebody made a decision to connect here with you, Virgo. To partner with you. And it was unexpected. You are now beginning to see the fruits of your labor take seed and blossom. And... Uh, you still got some stuff to do, but it's actually happening now. And of course, yeah, the tables have turned. Tell me about the community card. The tables have turned. Wow. Memories and throat chakra comes out. Memories of love and throat chakra. So, um, you could have acquainted with a uh, old friend. It could be um, reacquainted. That's the word I want to use. You could have reacquainted with an old friend, or um, somebody from your past could be coming back, or uh, this could be somebody that you're still connected to. But I feel like whoever this is, it's like that situation is getting deeper. Okay, or you guys are um, going to be taking a relationship or your partnership or something to the next level here. Okay, like I said, and it's causing who for whoever is causing some issues. There's going to be a lot of communication with this throat shop for coming out. Um, I feel like, like I said, the messages are coming through. It's coming through the spirit realm. It's coming through people. It's coming through whoever you're connected to. Um so definitely, especially the messages that are coming from the spirit realm, be aware. Stay grounded so that you can get it because you're going to get the next step on what you're supposed to be doing. And I, get, I got the I'm making him block you card. So some of you could be um, dealing with a situation where you can't get in contact with someone or this person is a masculine energy um, or you know how when somebody keeps you in so much mental anguish that it's hard, you end up withdrawing your energy, you go into hermit mode and you don't want to talk to nobody. That's what I'm feeling like that energy too. Okay. So, <clears throat> or they're trying to literally keep this masculine energy away. 
but the decision what i'm hearing has already been made mm -hmm. this masculine energy is already moving forward they already made the decision to make these changes they are talking to friends and family about about you about this situation <clears throat> and this other person in this situation whoever these people are like they like they don't understand they can't understand what's happening why you were chosen okay why you are the chosen one is what i just heard but you literally are the chosen one <laughs> that makes sense it's no why you are the chosen one and it's not anything to do with being chosen you know in a physical like literally you're calling you are earth angel you are a light worker you are a healer you are a guide you are a chosen one and this is why they can't understand it they don't care about this person's happiness they just want what they want okay so let me see what is this masculine energy talking to friends and family about when it comes to Virgo? It's talking about maybe what you do. If you're a high priestess, if you operate in your intu intu intuitive gifts, right? Um, they may be telling them things that they're actually picking up themselves. They may be telling people you're a spiritual teacher, you know, you're following a certain path. Yep, two of swords reversed. They're telling them about the decision that they made, okay? And how they made um, a wrong choice before and they use poor judgment. Ten of Cups in the reverse next to the Tower card. So they're really talking about it. It's like, even though this situation is bringing some type of disunity or conflict or breakup here within my home or with, you know, um, my, uh, or shattering that values. Like, I keep hearing, like, somebody may have children or could have been married and they're leaving that situation. This is somebody, this is a masculine energy that has literally gone through a serious transformation. And it's like they're trying to rebuild. They were oppressed, okay? Um, and they're trying to rebuild their lives. They felt like they were in prison. Yep, four of wands. They're trying to rebuild, okay? And they're trying to rebuild with you. So they're talking about that. Like, I made the wrong choice. I made a bad decision. My happiness was with Virgo, it was my ultimate happiness. That's where my prosperity lies. And I've been sitting here and um, delaying the inevitable. And now it's like, I know what I want. My stability and peace, my balance. I want to settle down with Virgo. I want marriage with Virgo. I want to partner with Virgo, whatever that may be, okay? Whatever it is, it's like they want a firm foundation. The King Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. They were at a standstill and very unreliable. So they know like they made some bad choices that caused, you know, you guys not to be able to collaborate. Too many um, cards in my spirit team made, made it where you two couldn't share the same goals, collaborate. Y'all had a lot of adversity, competitive environment. Uh, and for somebody I just heard may have even it may even be some new kids new babies okay and they're exhausted they know you're exhausted nine of wands but they're resilient and they're willing to wait this is what I just heard they're willing to wait for you yep. king of wands because they know what they want and they're ready to take action on it. Um, yeah. They're ready to they're ready to come in. Is how I'm seeing it. Okay, so if you're in separation with this person, um, 
they're coming in okay so if you're already connected to this person in some kind of way like y'all friends or just something like that it's gonna go it's gonna go deeper it's a lot that you guys had going on in y'all story here i got a um two o'clock class so i gotta wrap it up get myself together let me see something here dragonfly so that says be lighthearted. some you're going to be finding out some things things are going to be coming to the light healing heart i charge my laptop and butterfly look at that relationship evolving to the next phase you guys had to do a lot of inner healing child um, healing from childhood trauma and this is both of y'all this ain't just this person hold on y'all but like I said the relationship is evolving okay so you may have already found out some stuff look at that gift this is definitely a gift from the universe i feel like this person may also have a gift for you and may want to offer you something here that's equal look at that sudden wealth 777 17 on the card coming from a mature man 3133 on my timer <laughs> yeah, don't get no better than that y'all um damn where's my book I want to read to y'all about the Sutton Wealth card. Hold on one second. Let me get my thoughts together. Because I just had the, had the um, case here, though. So, with the Sutton Wealth card, right, it basically says, it's your lucky number gold coin spilled onto the casino table. The card could mean the lost check that shows up, a monetary gift, a larger than an anticipated anticipated tax refund a bingo win if this card is close to a significator it means a large sum of it so the sudden wealth card comes next to the gift and next to the mature man 3222 on the time of y'all 3223 on the time of y'all what's the day 32323 right pluto just went into aquarius on top of that but um it says your luck could turn sour and result in it. Oh, this is if it's next to a false person and it's not. All right. So you got it next to all good cards. It says you can feel safe now. Sudden wealth announces success, um, affluence, gain or profit in your job. It also shows a secure partnership. You can draw on unlimited sources at the moment, but avoid being waste, wasteful or boastful. This is money you don't have to work for, such as a lottery winning or a bonus, found money or inheritance. Um, it's a lot of money if it's close to, you know, something significant with this gift. Um, <laughs> wow. But whatever it is, it's an abundance of it. It says, um, Look, I just heard, play the lottery. <laughs> if you've been getting some numbers, play the lottery. Let me see. Is there anything else? That's it. Only thing that stands out to me is you can feel safe now. Whatever is coming in for you is sudden. And it's definitely going to be an abundance. Whether it's abundance of love, money, whatever. I feel like it's both, y'all. So even with the gift card, it says, this powerful card has the ability to soften the blow of any challenging cards, but it also reveals an interesting timing um, by the next holiday of any sort or a birthday. Wow. Be open to the support of others. Be receptive to small positive gestures or a proposal. This card can indicate a new job offer, a promotion, or helpfulness. It also announces a gesture of reconciliation or even a declaration of love. Take the gift and embrace the opportunity. This is a very lucky card. 
that can take the edge off a nearby negative card. Okay, it stands for happiness, praise, profit, recognition, or even an actual gift. Wow. The time frame could be the next holiday or celebration. We got Easter. We got birthdays coming up, right? We got, um, what else? What's the next holiday? Mother's Day, right? So be expecting something. And it's coming from a mature man, okay? Or you could be this mature man. I don't know. Flip the rose how you see fit, but I love it, okay? I don't even care about things coming out to the light. What? What's coming out to the light? Who cares, what? <laughs> right? But be lighthearted because you could be finding out some stuff, okay? Um, of course, why? Because who is coming your way? Carmisha, all right? Or Carmichael coming here to be, um, yep, look at that, three of cups, uh, king of pentacles reverse and the world card in the reverse so they coming in some foolish energy because they are now being delayed in what it is that they wanted for themselves and they're frustrated and you over here celebrating and getting the victory okay where before virgo you was in the down it was on the down part for you right reverse where you was isolated and alone and whatever. But now you celebrate and you getting the victory. You getting the happiness. You getting the money. You getting the love. You're getting all of those things. All right. So, yeah. When um, Carmisha or Carmichael comes in and try to talk to you about some beef or be aggressive towards you or do whatever, um, you don't got to entertain nothing. Some people like to sit there and entertain and share stories. Don't do that. Okay. Goodbye. The universe is abundant, and I am blessed, and I live a blessed life. Peace. <laughs> That's it. You ain't entertaining. No low vibrational people or energy, Virgo. Keep rising. This is your time to shine, booze. Love you. Peace. <laughs>